All right, well, I have been having some issues with my stove here in my van. And uh, to be honest, I don't think it's really the fault of the stove. I paid less than $25 for it. It's a pretty basic stove. Uh, I've gotten good use out of it over the time that I've had it. Um, but it's really beginning to be a problem. Several things about the stove are becoming a problem. And so I have been searching, like I've been spending hours. You, I, <laughs> it's been like a part-time job looking for a replacement stove for the one that I have. And I've decided to go with this one made by Stan Sports and this is a really basic stove. This is kind of uh, old school technology here. Uh, <laughs> the stove I have been using is not the greatest of, um, or the newest of technology. And this one I think that I am switching to is uh, even older school technology. But I think that that is gonna be good. At least I hope, anyway. Now there are a few reasons why I chose this stove. Uh, I like using propane, I use bulk propane tanks. Uh, it's easy to get them refilled uh, quite anywhere uh, in the places that I'm at normally. And it seems to be the least expensive fuel as long as I'm refilling my refillable tanks. Um, I, I do occasionally use the little green bottles, but I don't like the price of those. It's just, they're just a little bit expensive. So I like using a stove that uses bulk propane tanks. Uh, and this one is made to use a bulk propane tank. Uh, the other thing is this stove is made to use uh, regular standard barbecue parts. So this uses uh, a standard connector for barbecue. Uh, propane barbecues and it uses standard hoses for propane barbecues and also a regulator for a propane barbecue. That means if something were to fail or if something needed to be replaced, I can easily find a replacement. Uh, hose, fitting, uh, regulator, any of those at a hardware store. So that's the reason why I'm going with this. I also like that it's simple. Um, I've had kind of complicated stoves in the past and they just don't seem to work as well as something simple. And so I decided to just to go with a simple, simple stove. And I like the price of it. Uh, 25 bucks is not a, uh, a bad price, I don't think, to um, spend on a stove if it works. So we'll find out if it works, but first I've got to get it installed. So I have parked back up here at Home Depot in case I need something else I can run in. Uh, but I first need to dismantle all of this and then I'll get going on building just a new little table platform to hold the new stove. Okay, so I've made some progress. I have the little stand pretty much roughed in, and I've got some finishing touches to do on here. Um, unfortunately, Home Depot doesn't have what I need, and I have a mess of stuff. I had to take everything out. I was looking for bolts and screws and tools and things um, in order to get this attached I had to take my fridge out and set it outside. So uh, I've got to go to Lowe's now in hopes that they have everything that I need to finish, which means I've got to get all this crap put back in here. Oh, good Lord. Um, <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't go flying around when I drive across town to Lowe's when Home Depot really should have what I need, but they don't. Okay, so I'm in the home stretch here. I've got the base almost done. Um, I've got to source some things to finish that off, but I thought I would turn my attention to the stove here. So the stove comes with some legs that are made out of the same material as the rest of the stove. They're cast iron little legs that bolt on. 
Uh, I didn't like those because they're a little bulky. They made the stove stand a little bit tall and they also made the stove take up more uh, area. The, the legs kind of splayed out a little bit. So instead of using those, I'm just going to use some bolts and I bought some quarter 20 bolts. That they go through the same holes that would bolt on the feet that you're supposed to use, I guess. Um, but I, I just bought some bolts that will hold up the stove off the surface a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some heat that's generated, so I need a little bit of air space underneath. So I've, I've allowed for that. And what I am also trying to do here is I want to make the stove adjustable a little bit. So um, what I have for feet here are uh, actually, what are these called? These are called well nuts. They are a rubber little contraption that it looks like a foot to a stove to me. Uh, and then there's a threaded insert in them. So I'm going to thread these on. And I have a, uh, I have a nut here as a stop so that I can kind of tighten it up and keep it in one place. Uh, the beauty with this, I think, anyway, is that I can allow for some adjustment. I can adjust these legs on this side, which will be the front of the stove to be a little bit taller and the back ones to be a little bit shorter. That way, when I am parked on a street like I normally am, and the van is always going to be tipped this way a little bit, I can allow for a little bit of tip back on the stove this way. So uh, that's the idea anyway. And so I'm going to give it a try. Now, for any of you nervous Nellies out there, I will keep the I will keep the uh, the feet that come with the stove, and if I need to use them in the future, I can always just pop them back on. But I don't really see why that's necessary. Uh, I just need something to keep the stove up off the surface, allow air movement underneath. Uh, and I like this idea because it gives me a little bit of adjustment. So we'll see how this works. Okay, flash forward. This is now the next day. Yesterday got a little long and tiring with all the running around I had to do just to get parts. Anyway, um, the stove is now working. Uh, I haven't cooked anything with it yet, but I have made a couple of cups of coffee. Last night before I went to bed, I made a cup of coffee and I am so far happy with how the stove is working. Uh, it does put out a lot of heat. And I mean a lot of heat. Uh, this stove is quite a bit more powerful than my last stove. And it makes a difference, especially now that it is summertime and warmer outside. Uh, I do notice that difference when I run the stove. Um, now that that is just using the stove for a couple of cups of coffee. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I had a whole different idea of this whole setup here. I was going to kind of build some shelves for a little more storage back here. But what happened was as soon as I got the old backsplash out of here, I realized that I like having the openness of not having that backsplash cut off part of my door. And so the reason that the door isn't open right now is because I'm parked next to a freeway and it's really noisy and my voice will not compete with the freeway. And so I'm just uh, doing this now with the door closed. But with the door open, it's really nice. It lets a lot of extra light in. It let, lets a lot of extra air in. Uh, I'm imagining it will kind of help dissipate some of that heat. So even though I had anticipated building another backsplash the way I've always had in the past here. Uh, I just decided against that. Now I went ahead and built, built out just a little backsplash, which gives me a little space for storage. I've got a little magnet mounted here to hold my, uh, my one and only uh, plate. That's not true. I have a few extra plates, but this is the one I always use. So I keep it out and accessible. Uh, and then I've got 
my pan, the one pan that I use for everything, just mounted up here, and it, it's on a little bungee cord so it doesn't rattle around when I drive. That works fairly well, not great. Uh, there will be some changes I have to do to this. It's not really done yet, um, but uh, it's usable, and so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, <laughs> I had intended on buying a vinyl floor tile to put underneath the stove here. Apparently, you can't buy a single vinyl floor tile, at least not at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I went to buy some contact paper. Uh, that was outrageously expensive, and it was going to give me more than I needed. So I ended up just sticking some aluminum foil on this. I needed something just to uh, make it easier to wipe up, being that this is just plywood. So I think that'll work fine for now. I really don't care how it looks as long as it's usable. That's kind of my thing. So um, that's kind of it. Uh, everything seems to be working fairly well. Uh, like I said, I'll have to make some tweaks and adjustments to things here. So you're going to ask me how well the stove works. Again, I haven't used it to cook anything. Uh, it does put out a lot more heat, and it does seem to be a little better uh, able to be adjusted um, than my old stove. Although I have to say this little control knob doesn't work as well as I was hoping to. I guess that's what you get with a $25 cheapy stove. But anyway, um, works good enough, I think, for me. Um, I will do some cooking on it later. I'm not excited about doing any real cooking today because it's, it's warm. It's, uh, well, not as warm as it is in other places, but it's um, a high 70s outside, and so if I cook in here, it's going to heat the van up, and I don't really want to do that. So um, I made a cup of coffee this morning, and that'll probably be it until it starts to get cooler as the, uh, as the day, um, as the sun goes down. Anyway, so I'm just going to wait a little later to do any real cooking. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the stove so far. Not overjoyed with it. Uh, I don't like how tall it is. Um, and I mentioned the control knob doesn't work great, but it does work better than my old stove in every way. So uh, I guess that's it. Um, and really, I just need something that is reliable, and it seems like it's going to be reliable. We'll see about that. Time will tell, but uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So um, stove saga continues. Uh, I'm sure I will be using it a lot, and you'll see it me using it a lot in the future, so um, future videos will answer more questions, because I certainly have more questions than I have answers. Anyway, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it.